Hi, my name is Frank Yazwick, the Director of Estate Planning and Tax here at Ballast. And today I want to talk to you about a weekly commentary article that I've recently written. Uh, so as we've done throughout the year, we want to continue to give you updates on the goings on related to coronavirus, especially those that have financial effect. So in that context, earlier this month, President Trump signed into effect a few presidential memorandas and executive orders um, in an effort to help relieve some financial stress caused by the coronavirus. Included in one of those memorandas was a suspension of the payroll tax. Now this will take effect beginning in September 1st of this year and running through the end of the year. So effectively what that's going to do is it's going to cut the 6.2% employee's share of the Social Security tax on your pay stub. So this will mean more money in the worker's pocket, but as it stands now, this has not forgiven that tax. It has only suspended it and pushed it back. So without further congressional action, uh, employees would have a tax bill looming in the next year once this um, pushback period has ended. A second memoranda signed earlier in this month had to do with student loans. So earlier in March of this year, it was announced that student loan required repayment would be suspended and that interest accrual would also be suspended during that time. Uh, it was a 60 day period. Later that month in March, the CARES Act was passed that extended that student loan relief through September 30th of this year. So recently this order was signed that is actually going to suspend, extend that suspension, extend that student loan relief through the end of this year. Also signed in August was an executive order extending relief to certain homeowners and renters. Um, so as homeowners and renters are, are struggling, this executive order has directed the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development to identify any and all funds that might be used to provide financial relief to the homeowners, to the renters, to the landlords, um, et cetera. So in that effect, they're, they're attempting to provide the financial relief to those who have been financially affected by the coronavirus and are struggling to meet their monthly obligations on rent and mortgage. All three of these orders and memoranda provide several planning opportunities that if you have any questions, if these might be uh, pertinent to you specifically, please give us a call and we would be more than happy to help you walk through any of the scenarios that might be effective uh, for you.